Hey guys, my name is Tamriel. I'm gonna give you a basic PvP guide for Frost Death Knight. For primary weapon enchant will be Rune of the Fallen Crusader, which you can get from a Rune Forge in Epon Hold, which is what something every Death Knight has actually. So that eliminates the need for you to constantly purchase weapon enchantments from the auction house. Your stat priority will differ depending on your play itself. Dual wielding Death Knights will get expertise 3%, melee 3 hit percent, strength, mastery, haste, and crit. So mostly try to forge towards mastery. For two handed Death Knights, you want to choose expertise 3%, melee hit 3%, strength, haste, crit, and then mastery. You want to stack a lot of haste so that you can hit faster. Let's cover your basic rotation in arenas and battlegrounds. As an opener, I'd recommend using Outbreak, which instantly applies Blood Plague and Frost Fever on a target enemy. If Outbreak is not available, use Howling Blast and Plague Strike. When you can, use Obliterate, especially as a two-handed Death Knight. Obliterate is a high damage ability that can do lots of damage depending on how many dots you have. So if you have two of your dots on, it will do lots of damage. When you have a lot of runic power stored up, I would suggest using Frost Strike to dump it out. When your target is at 35% health, use Soul Reaper as a finisher. Sometimes you may get a proc of Rhyme. Use Howling Blast whenever you get a proc to get a free Howling Blast. Alright, that's enough about rotation. Let's get into some of the utilities of a Death Knight. First, we're gonna start off with Death Grip, which can shorten the distance between you and your enemy. You also have Pestilence, which spreads your diseases to other targets. Use an empowered rune weapon cooldown to restore some of your rune and rune power. Frost Death Knights only have two defensive abilities, which is really all you need. Icebound Fortitude will block physical damage, and Item Magic Shell will block magical damage. Alright, let's talk about some talents. Unholy Blight is something I personally found very useful, especially uh, when you're doing an AoE battle. It helps keep pressure on the enemies around you, and sometimes help you find those pesky sneakers, like uh, rogues and sometimes druids. Purgatory is something that saved my life from many battlegrounds and many arenas. Uh, it's very helpful, especially if you got a healer with you to heal you up. So I'll definitely grab that. Asphyxiate is the only real stun that Death Knights really have, which is my personal choice on why I grab it. It works really well in arena situations, and uh, personally, might be personal choice. Death Pact is something that I personally enjoy using because it A restores the most amount of health, B you can macro it with Death Pact, raise death, and health stone. So every time you use click this little button and a little macro, then it can heal you up and raise a little ally with you and helps you use the soul stone. Runic Empowerment is my personal choice of generating extra runes and personally just my preferential choice. You can choose other three. And this last ability, uh, it allows me to freeze the targets around me and uh, they have to stand close enough for it to work, but after a while if they stand close enough, they'll be frozen and stunned, which is something really useful in battlegrounds and arenas. Let's move on to some of the glyphs. The first glyph that I personally like to do is Anti Magic Shell. And by the way, also the glyphs don't just stay with those glyphs if you don't want. If you feel like you need to change them, move them around. I'm currently trying out some glyphs right now. Change the wise I found really useful. Dark symbol, uh, that one. <laughs> I would not recommend using that. I personally don't like that one. Gem is pretty easy. Just jump to your statistics. Mine is haste and uh, some PP power. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed the basic guide for Frost Death Knight. If you have any questions, write in the comments. My name is Temriel, and I'll see you in the next video.